So Jesus said, I am the bread of life. He says, I am the light of the world. And then he said another interesting statement, another claim about himself. He says, I am the door. Now that's interesting. I am the door. What does that mean exactly? In John chapter 10 is where we find Jesus declare that he is the door. And so if you, if you have your Bibles or you're looking on your phone, you can go there with me. It's in John chapter 10, verse 7 through 10. This is what he says. He says, Therefore Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, I am the door for the sheep. All who have come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep have not listened to them. I am the door. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. And then he goes on to say that the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I have come that you may have life and have it in abundance. And as I'm thinking about how Jesus is the door, it takes me back to my life prior to my relationship with Christ. See, at that time in my life, I can tell you that I wasn't necessarily looking for my purpose. I mean, I wasn't looking for God. I was looking for my purpose in life. And, and I remember I used to tell people, I was kind of frustrated. I used to tell people, you know, I feel like I'm knocking on doors and I'm trying to find the one that's for me. And what I was looking for was for that, that, that door that was going to give me a sense of purpose and fulfillment in life. And, and I couldn't find it. And that it was frustrating me. And then I remember as I started kind of getting closer and, and being more open to hear from God. And, and when my pastor, you know, led me to Christ, I remember I began to sense that, that Jesus was that door. And that he was saying to me, you know that door you've been looking for? I am that door. And I can tell you that I remember feeling a little bit afraid because I wasn't sure where it was going to lead me. I wasn't sure what my life was going to look like if I walked through that door. Have you ever felt like that? You ever felt like, you know, you know, if you if you go all in with your faith in God, if you go all in with your relationship with the Lord, or, you know, does it kind of give you that sense of like an uncertainty where he may lead you? And I, that's how I felt. But I could sense Christ challenging me. I could sense him encouraging me, saying, you don't have to fear anything. I love you. My plans for you are good. Trust me. And so I remember I didn't, I didn't just take one foot in. No, I jumped in with both feet and I went all into that door. And that door, my friends, led me to receive the gift of of salvation that the scripture describes. And, but then it also led me down the path that helped me to discover my purpose in life. And so I wanna encourage you today that Jesus is calling you wherever you're at. Maybe you haven't walked through that door. Jesus is that door. He invites you in. And if, if you haven't walked through the door, I encourage you to do so. Or maybe you've been in a place where you've kind of been kind of just in the middle. Let me challenge you to go all in. You know, God's plans for you are good. He says, I'm not trying to harm you. I'm trying to lead you somewhere you've never dreamed of or even imagined. And so Jesus says to you, I am the door.